this week on Clown College. Brandon, <laughs> so I, I'm a customer. I'm a customer. Okay. And my groceries are $21.48. And I tell you, I want to round it up to $25 for the donation. Okay, so you said $24. And how much? 48 cents. Right? $21. $21.48. <laughs> and 48 cents. I end up round it up to $25. Okay. What are you going to put into the cash register? All right, so first we add four. And then you said 48 cents, right? Yes, 21.48. So, okay, 50 take away two. Hold on. I got to count here. All right, so 48, 50, 68, 70, 80, 90. <laughs> Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways to elevate and make it sound polished. So if you want to, hear a little honest. A few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Then stick around for a while to fit down the clown. We got the guest right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Yep. Uh, I don't know that Cold War was hardcore at points and softcore at points. I heard. Dude. I heard. Brandon, what was your favorite part of the Cold War, dude? My favorite part of the Cold War. There is no favorite part of the Cold War. No, there was, there was, was one crazy. good part. There was one good part? Yeah, a really good part. Ooh, what was it? No, I have to see if you remember. Oh, no, no, man. What, what happened? We killed Russians. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Did, yeah, did, did you not watch Rocky Four? Yes, I did. I remember with that Ivan Drago dude where he yeah. killed Apollo Creed. That was yeah. my guy. Yeah, that exactly. was one that of the darkest guy. moments. Of it was racism. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. That's why Rocky had to come in there and whoop some ass. You know what yep. I mean? And he did. He did. And then well, he got his ass beat for the fight, and then came back at the end and won. All right, knocked him out. Wait, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. They they had two fights. No, I'm talking same about fight. the same fight, but the whole time he was getting his ass whooped like bad. Oh, and then he won at the end by yeah. knocking him out. Oh, that's how it goes every Rocky episode. You know, he has to get beat up to come. Is that back how up. they all end, dude? Basically, yes. Yeah. He's always on top, except for the first one. <laughs> I've yeah. only ever seen the one with uh, Mr. T, and then the fourth one. Ooh, what's the fourth? Tommy one? Morrison. That's the, a, that's the Drago. Russian one. Yeah. See, I, I I don't maybe I haven't seen like what's in two then? What's Rocky two? I thought that was Mr. That, T. No, that's Apollo Creed doing a rematch. and then Because uh, Apollo Creed won and won. Yep, and then in two, Rocky comes back and beats Apollo. Okay. So Rocky to- loses in the first one? Yes. He doesn't win the fight. No, mm-hmm. but it's but it's based off Fucking of... Fucking Apollo Creed, dude. Yeah, Fuck. but it's based off of Muhammad he died. Ali versus... Uh, what's that dude's name? Let's see, Muhammad Ali. No, so he dies in the third one. Hulk Hogan was in one of them, right? Yeah, he was on three. All right, so yeah, so three, uh, that's when... Four is when Draco kills Apollo Creed or three? Yeah, it's four. Uh, four. Four. Okay, and three, what happens there? Is that the... That's Mr. T. But that's what this is based okay. off of in real life. Because uh, he knocked down Ali and everybody's like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe he did it. But then he still gets beat. No, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh. So that's what the first Rocky is based yeah. off of. Yeah. Oh, and okay. then after that, they just said, let's keep moving it. And that's what they did. Great White Hype. You ever seen that? That's one of my favorite movies. Put in Great White Height. Great that was White my Height. nickname in high school. I'm, only, I'm not even going to spoil it for you because it's, it's, it's got Damon Wayans and I don't know who's the white guy in it, even though it's called Great White see. Height. But yeah. Uh, Let's see. Let me like look at the Samuel cast. Jackson. So we can see. That's cool as hell. Peter uh, yeah, Jeff Peter, Goldblum. Yeah, yeah. Peter Berg. So he's this, he's this boxer. It's like training hard as fuck. You, you remember this, Jack? Uh-uh. But that's the guy who created a. Ballers. Oh, really? I think he did Entourage, too. Oh, he did Entourage? So that's weird. That I didn't it. know he was an actor before that, besides like just being Oh, like shit. Little... He did Hancock also? That's what's up. Oh. Nice. Method Man's in the movie. Ooh. In this one? Apparently. Yeah. So, like, he's the he's the boxer, right? He's training hard as fuck. He does everything right. And then Damon Wayans is the, uh, is the, is the champion. But he's eating pizza. He's fucking bitches doing cocaine. Has a beer belly. Look at him right oh, there. He got a beer like, belly like on me. him. <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Kind of looks like Andrew Tate a little bit, dude. Yeah, he got the ear. <laughs> or lack of it. 
Yeah, then I won't tell you what happens at the end, but it's great. I might it's watch great it tonight. Movie. Man, that looks good. Yeah. What'd you watch the other night, Brandon? Ooh, oh, yeah. I saw Inside Out too. Did that go better than <sighs> the cat who must not be named? Let's just say it felt like home. It was like a biopic because basically when you see this movie, that's basically what happens to me every day and probably hundreds of other people. Probably you too also. What yeah. happened? Well, basically... Well, let's see Let's see what happens to them, we'll say. Yeah, yeah, let's not spoil it. <laughs> just, yeah, I'm not going to spoil yeah. it for y'all. But No, just, spoil it, please. Oh, spoil it? I was just saying, but oh, you said If you don't want too. Inside oh, Out yeah. 2 spoiled for you, please yeah. turn yeah, off the podcast. Yeah, we're warning you right now. We will take the hit in viewership. Yeah, right. so but uh, it basically what it was, was uh, so Riley was a kid. Uh-huh. She was turning 13 and getting ready to go to high school. And uh, happiness and sadness, everybody, they holding hands and all happy and shit. And then in the middle of the night, it starts beeping out of nowhere, right? And then I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And boom, here comes anxiety. And then you got embarrassment and jealousy and everything coming in there, like puberty. And they, they just fucked up everything. And then they threw happiness and uh, sadness on them out down like this drain thing. Them out there, yeah. And and they took Damn. over the, the, the person's mind. Dumped and started, them on their ass. Yes. Mm-hmm. She started acting crazy and shit. She was like, oh, my gosh. What if this doesn't happen? What if that doesn't happen? So now the overthinking comes in. She got serious, horrible anxiety, right? And then, like, uh, even Joy the was heck? like, the happiness is like, dude, man. This is what adulthood is like. And looked at the camera was like, this this might be it, folks. She's never going to be happy again. Fourth then, wall break? Yeah, mm-hmm. basically. Dang, <laughs> but I feel like she was talking to the other people because they were all sad, too. Oh. And then they almost killed themselves on there, too, because they were like, they had nothing else to do. So they pulled this lever. And thousands of pounds of these, like, balls started falling with the memories and everything. And then they got crushed into it. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is it. But so no. did it kill the anxiety? No, this is a kids' movie. They just they bounced. But back. they kept them like it was Xanax. Xanax. I, I, I they were hope. SSRIs. No, no, yeah. no, it was all her bad memories because anxiety was like, let's cut all that out. The balls are trauma. Yes, the balls were. Mm. The, this was a trauma dump, basically. Oh. And what happened was that they got dumped all the way back up to like the what is it? The memory thing through this like weird hole or portal type thing, and mm-hmm. they went back up there and then saved her from having a horrible horrible panic attack it was one of the worst panic attacks she started like huffing and puffing. it was so bad the other team was like damn girl you all right and then like they got happy and she was like "Ooh, i could breathe again i'm good let's go have fun and i'm like damn little does she know this is gonna happen every day for the next 20 or 30 years <laughs> <laughs> this one is seems way sadder than garfield dude, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. i mean it's just like because i was like yeah that happens these kids movies are really that deep. Hey, dude, dude. And then, dude, they had this, like, thing that was kind of like Dora. And then uh, he had, like, a fanny pack. He was like, can y'all guess how to get out of this place? Because they got locked away in this thing with, like, the biggest, darkest secret. And her older stuff that she, like, cleared out of her mind. And then uh, he saw the fanny pack from the thing again. It was like, hey, you got something. Because he was like, like, what was it? Anger was like, call for the dude's fanny pack. And when he called for it, the child fanny pack came over and was like, did you say you needed me? And he just yanked the... The thing and violated it and sticked his hand in his mouth and started pulling out the stuff he needed, which was like dynamite to blow the stuff up. And then, like, the scene started gargling. Uh, it was bad. I want you to know I have no clue what's happening. There's a fanny or what pack. movie this is. Is this still the same movie? Yes, you don't yes know I inside promise out? you. No, I'm, well, no, you start talking just, about dynamite. And, so, because and think that was they it. had to blow up. They had to blow up the wall for that little trauma dump. Yeah, they're trying to get out of yes, the trauma block. Because dude, anxiety, obviously. Mm. anxiety is fucking up everything. Kids need beat. They Kids do. need hit. Me. Oh, dude. They need bully, too. <laughs> because like... look at what's happening. Yeah, well, yeah. yes. Uh, dude, I would have got my ass whooped that whole movie. The way she was talking to her parents. Oh, yeah. They're talking about, she was like, oh, my God, leave me alone. You wouldn't understand. My mom's emotions would have been like, kill that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And then pull. <laughs> yeah, your mom got oh that gat on her at all Yeah, time. she does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she does. Yeah. Hangs it up on the fridge like your report oh, card. Yeah, oh, yeah, the sheriff or some shit. She get headshots? Yeah, dude. That's why she put it on the wall. She's like, look at all these. Mm, you better watch out. And I was like, okay. I'll watch I, out. Do not fuck with Brandon's mom. Yeah, don't She'll tear do that it, ass man. up. <laughs> I remember whenever that dude was acting out at... Uh, Stand Up Live? Yeah, she said... I thought they were leaving. I was like, oh, you guys are leaving? She's like, no, be right back. I didn't know yeah. Brandon told me later she was going to grab her gun. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, man, we got to be protected out oh here. God. Yeah, she did. Gotta hit the fucking deck, dude. <laughs> don't want to get caught in the cross. I was like, I love your safety, mom. I appreciated that. She was very safe. So that's what the movie was about, man? Oh, yeah. Basically, it's mental illness. Mm. And you know how. Yeah. 
See, th- you like so you, when you go to the movies, it's usually for kids' movies. <sighs> Sometimes, but because this is a movie that yeah, you know, I, I just like I just like the experience shit. of a movie. Like next movie is Wolverine versus Deadpool. Okay, so you are going hardcore then, dude? I am excited, dude. I got I even took pictures because they gave me the popcorn bowl and uh, what else? Uh, a Deadpool Wolverine thing. I was like, yo, we got to stop here, and I posed, and then I stopped. In front of like a Red Robins and shit, because I was like, I want to be like, I want to be like how those people are with Spider Man Three, uh-huh. and I'd be like, 10, 15 years ago, this was me taking a picture of Deadpool versus Wolverine. Look at how young I used to look. Was that part of your Make a Wish package? No, <laughs> well, it would have been meeting them. If you had to make a wish, what would you wish for? You got one wish to meet one person. Me one person? Who would it be? And I'd have to be alive, of course, they because it's be a real make a wish. Ooh, if I can meet just one person. And you get to I do go. a day with them, so you pick your activity too. Oh, shit. I, I guess I would hang out with Elon Musk. Because, really? Well, my thing is because, listen, if you're saying do some shit, he could, he, he could put you on an adventure, man. He'd be like, hey, man, look at this new Tesla. It's unreleased. Or get yeah. on a nice cyber truck. We get on a nice jet. Cause this dude's probably like, what is he? One of the richest people in the world. He's the richest. Yeah. So I'd be like, dude, just take me on an adventure. And okay. That's what we're gonna we're gonna actually, go on an adventure. Actually, not a bad one. That just sounds like Brandon's gonna get abducted by P Diddy. Real <laughs> soon. Oh yeah. man, he'd be and like, now, we gotta stop P Diddy's house. Oh, <laughs> did you you have a plane to an island, dude. Guess what? And Speak- you won't be alive in a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say nothing. <laughs> Dude, speaking of P. Diddy, when I was at uh, A&M, man, I remember hearing this one story where they were like, dude, P. Diddy's going to come down. This is before the allegations. And they were like, P. Diddy's going to come down on a tour bus, and uh, he's going to have some of the students get on the bus. And I was like, damn, man, that's fucked up, man, because it's already hard enough to pull a girl in these streets. But now he's going to come in here and take all of them. They said, oh, no, he's coming for the dudes. And I was like, oh. What? You missed the P. Diddy tryout? Dude, Damn. I wouldn't have, I wasn't getting on that bus. I was saying, I just knew something wasn't right. Brandon, but you could have got on the bus. Oh, dude, I don't know what would have happened if they would have said get on the bus. It would have because I wouldn't have known minimal back convincing then, man. to get Brandon <laughs> on the bus. I probably would have got on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> See, that I just said that. He was like, I would not yeah. get on the bus. Cause, cause it wouldn't be was, that hard to get him on the bus. You're, I would get on the bus. <laughs> They'd be like, this is a once in a lifetime experience, man. Who else's tour bus you going to be able to get on? I would have been like, damn, man, maybe. Maybe this is my big break. Yeah. Nah, not yeah, the dude. break you need, though. A bus is a bus, need. though, man. Yeah. It's not very luxurious. Man, he going to ride you like a bus. We don't need that. That's no. bad. That's dangerous. Oh, and he's going to be like Rosa Parks and take the back seat. Yes, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Where the cops going to be for that one? In the back of the bus. Nowhere. <laughs> You're going to be stuck getting raped by P. Diddy. <laughs> It happened to severals. Oh several my people, gosh, Like the Family Matters dude now. Now I can't. I can't. Uh, you, well, you hear dude, about that's that? a, allegedly. Oh, <laughs> all this is allegedly. What happened with that, dude? I didn't uh, hear about that one. Somebody said that they were at a party and like he was taking it from the back with him, and he was having a great time. They, they said that he had them screaming. Oh wow! Yeah, maybe because it hurt. It probably did. Uh-huh. It probably did. I but hope. he never got a. He never got anything from it. He hasn't had anything since Family Matters, really. And he had uh, what was he in Lethal Weapon or what? Uh, not Lethal Weapon, but uh, I don't know. He was in, he was a cop in some movie. Let me big see. Movie. See. Die Hard. He was a cop in Die Hard. Let me search up Family Matters. I don't know, man. dude. Wasn't that the guy that name. was like bagging groceries and it went viral on Twitter and it was like real fucked up? Nah. He was on that TV show. Oh, There's no. no way it's him. He, I mean, he still gets royalties from this. Okay, oh. Carl Winslow. Ever since the uh, Cosby Show went down there, main com- competitor. <laughs> I feel like everybody's show's... watching Family Matters, dude. That show's still up. A yeah, Die Hard. Yeah, that's the sickest last name ever, <clears throat> dude. Val Johnson. <laughs> Val Johnson. It's a crazy cool name. I mean, it could have happened, but you know, allegedly. Allegedly, you gotta put that out there. Allegedly, but hey, if they both wanted that, that's cool. Like, there's nothing. Hey, that's Let's great. That's great. You got my little crowd. <laughs> Go ahead and do it, man. Like, hey, yeah. that's the Twin Towers on that Die Hard right there. No, man. That's the... That is. Let me see. Is it? What the hell? Hold on. Because I've never Whoa, seen this. Whoa, it is, dude. Dude, is it blowing up on this thing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, did Die know. Hard predict 9-11? Dude, this is 1988, and they did. Oh, my Bruh. gosh. It, it, 40 stories of sheer adventure. <laughs> Holy that, shit. I never knew. That oh, that my was. gosh. Yeah, it's not the Twin Towers. It's not? Yeah, no, oh. I, I'm pretty sure Die Hard takes place in L.A., Oh, okay. oh shit! I and the twin towers were way bigger than. Oh that. Yeah. yeah, it says L.A. Right, you can't there. really tell. 
Yeah. It says 40 stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know numbers aren't your thing. The imagery is <laughs> obviously there. Yeah, that was. Huh? The imagery is obviously there. Was, have you ever folded up the $20 bill? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that. Dude. Go look up folded up $20 bill. Looks like uh, Twin Towers got hit. Now, I don't believe in any of this shit. I think it's just all coincidence. I know JJ has a different... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I know some people, man. They've told me some things. I've been out there, dude. Let's see. On the internet. Look at that. Holy shit. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. But, you know. And it's folded up. What does it look like? A paper airplane, dude. Yeah, dude. That's the thing. Brandon's... <laughs> Brandon's I, I, I just got him. Just got him. <laughs> because, listen, I believe in those Simpson... Uh, Predictions they had. You remember when the Simpsons would predict everything? Like they predicted nine eleven, the Ebola, and then uh, what else did they predict? They predicted the the little watches. Smart <laughs> that watches. You look at the smart watches. COVID. COVID. Star Trek. Uh, oh yeah, Star Trek was first. They had the Bluetooth, but dude, they were doing some shit. Donald Trump. Donald yeah. Trump. They predicted him before he was even born. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Then the Family Guy <laughs> piggybacked in there with Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Killed uh, that person. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark uh, killed somebody. You know Caitlin Clark? You Wait, for real? Yeah. yeah. Murder. One. Let me see. Yeah. There's a freak but skiing you type, accident. But you got to type it in. Um, Caitlin Clark skiing accident. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. Four people dead. Well, did her big ass hit them all, man? What the fuck? Yeah, look, dude, look at her smiling yeah. about it. That's her mugshot right oh, there, Brandon. Click on crazy. that second you photo. After she just bitch. killed the whole family. What are you smiling at everybody like this for? You killed... Whatever, man. You know that people are crazy and they hide it sometimes. It's these yeah. fucking crackers, Brandon. You yep, can't trust them. You, uh, oh, no. you, you see it right there. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, man, Skinning. I don't see nothing there, man. You see when it, it said... Uh, they oh ex- shit! Exfoliated Hold her up. face. I, I fucked it up. And got Hold a DUI. Up. That yeah. they had to get the blood out of her. Wait, face. I mean that's skin condition, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Skin. But it's skin condition from the. No, cold. she's just white. It's not a condition. See, attacks. She's Bitch being attack. Targeted. Bitch attack. On mm-hmm. Cleveland. Lindsey Vaughn. That's the girl she killed. She was condemned to yeah. death. Okay, now I know this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm about to say. Damn, 12, and 10, though. She murdered five people at least. Hey! Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Sick. And she out there scoring these sports. I, I heard people ain't happy about it on uh Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's so stupid to... Well, first of all, WNBA has lost for the two decades. They have never made a profit. You know that. Not even close. Two dude. or three decades they've been. It's the weird. It's weird because it's the one thing that isn't money motivated. You yeah. know, like every other sports organization is to make money. Mm-hmm. This loses the NBA, I want to say, like billions of dollars. Damn. Or at least Maybe hundreds a billion of millions of, a year. Yeah, hundreds of millions. Not, not a, not a well, year. Well, they only pay them 50 yeah, they, bucks per They're not deal. losing 100 millions yeah. a year, but they're losing so, millions. It's bad, man. But uh, have y'all seen that they've been beating Caitlin Clark up in yeah. the games, too? I've seen, seen one last night. Dude, dude please play the chip where she just gets cheap shotted, dude. I love it, man. It's Let's fucked see. up, but. <laughs> See, this is a perfect it's example. It's going to be a make or break moment she for her, man. She's going to go like Jordan and gain 20 pounds in this offseason. Yeah. She oh, dude, imagine she just gets on T and like just gets this. fucking oh, jacked. Dude, dude. Get jacked. Let's see. Skip this. I'm down for Caitlin Clark on TRT, dude. Man, you, we don't want to see an interview. Think pieces and shit. Let's just say files. Uh,. You put Angel Reese. You just hit her in the oh, head last Angel night. Angel Reese. That was last night. Mm-hmm. Wait, Angel Reese too? Come on now. I know Brandon knows her, dude. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, look. You always got. First of all, you got to add. It's always somebody that want to talk. Dennis, about yeah, somebody want to talk. Right on. Show the me the fucking side. video. That's what the fuck I'm saying. You pieces of shit. Austin. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We Doc go. Rivers' son. Why is he mad about Let's it? See, hopefully we see it before his ass. Is that Angel Reese? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Wet, wet. Let's see if she gets wet it. Brick. Squeak. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that's oh. the girl that was, that was the girl yeah. that was fucking her up. Let's see if we can find one close up. Oh. They just taking a book out of uh, yeah, hopefully Detroit it's Pistons, the 90 Pistons. Come on. I about to hit her? Right. We want to see some action. 
Nope, no hits. Nice. I don't. I don't uh, know. Well, All right. Well, well, this is how I, I know. She got Our it. audience she got is it. asleep now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it while we're watching this. I'm like, they're probably like, what yeah. the fuck are they even talking? We're about? looking for violence. They're watching the video. They're like, oh wow, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that a that sick layup. Thing, no. dude. <laughs> yeah, that's that was crazy. a sick fucking overhead layup. That she, she just did. Yeah. That's she how we play. Dis- yeah. She would murder all of us in basketball. Obviously, we oh know that. God, it wouldn't. Even, I, I wouldn't score a point. I know I wouldn't. I thought Dom was about to take another have another terrible take on this podcast. No, I'm, I know. And after last First, week, dude, what did I say last week? Uh, that Hitler, Hitler wasn't yeah, that bad. Yeah. Black okay, people. okay, okay. Yeah, okay. They wasn't. Well, it's not a horrible take. It's true. If you want to join Dom's new group, Blacks for Hitler. No, I didn't say I liked ups. them. All right, I want to clear that up. Ups. I don't. I haven't seen this episode or what I said. Maybe don't remember it. But <laughs> I will say this. I'm just. I'm not saying I like him, but he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't bad to black people. He killed like 14. That happens more. I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, still killing 14 people yeah. seems pretty messed up. Not, in the, not, not, not compared to millions. Damn. Well, they killed like oh, millions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Yeah. yeah, that's how many Jews they killed. They Jeffrey kill Dahmer didn't even kill 14 people, and people say he's evil. He is. I'm not saying Hitler's not evil. I'm just saying if you were black, he you said he's had not a, that bad, but yeah. he's evil. He gets to, he's not that bad of an evil. He's just a fooler. <laughs> <laughs> he fooled around a little bit. Look at <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Let's man! Not bring this shit back up. All right, oh, yeah. this, this <laughs> could go oh bad. You can stop yourself, dude. I'm just saying, you know. I I'm going to take the controversial stance that Hitler was a bad guy. Me what do you think? I think Hitler was a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. yeah he was I horrible. think he did some questionable things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing that. I don't think there's questions. There's a lot of statistics out yeah. there about Were the you there? Did. Oh, damn. <laughs> Were you, I mean, were you at the hall? You really think they killed four million or whatever they oh, said, man. huh? I'm just, like, I'm just oh, kidding. Hey, yeah. <laughs> he saved me. Oh my gosh, dude! I am kidding, guys. Yeah. I'm kidding. We jokesters, man. Yeah, we, yeah, we fool around, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Good we're jokes. fullers. Yeah, ha ha. Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> man, you got that little beard and shit. That's uh-huh. a mustache. Trying to steal it from Charlie Chaplin. I feel like. Because Char- Charlie Chaplin had it first, right? Mm, I don't know. Did he? Back Probably in 19- around the same time. Yeah, because he started in 1914, 1912 with his comedy. Probably you know, actually, that. Hitler and Charlie Chaplin were related. Seriously? Yeah. For real? That's why they genetically have that mustache. How were they I gotta related? see this. Let me see because because I know he. You weren't supposed to believe. I, I was. I was. I was believing it for a second. Yeah, because I was like Charlie hated uh, Hitler, <laughs> man. Like I remember he had that uh, thing in 1946 <laughs> and 1948 where he took a stand. Brandon's talking about like he was there. He's like, Charlie hated Hitler, man. He did that one. He took yeah, a stand man. in 1914. Yeah, he like, he's tired of this discrimination, man. And that was in the 40s. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he was dressed up like Hitler, too. He, oh. made a, he made a fool of him? I think so. Well, mm-hmm. well at first, they, yeah, yeah. He was cosplaying? Yeah, he was. Yeah, and then he became the activist, man. He did some activism. He was like, we can't have this no more. No jokes, it's serious. Man, he used to beat his beat his women. He beat his wife. Dude, a lot. another problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, another and problem. They couldn't talk. Nobody could talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know how old his women were, though? What? Because Charlie Chaplin would always go out with people that were like 14 and stuff and like 13, I found out. That's why I think Tight. the FBI was looking for him in the late 30s. What? Yeah, I had no idea about any of this. Yeah, and he, like you remember, he got he even got a I think like he got sent away from uh, America at one point. He was had, exiled from what, the what is that? What is that? Where they deported or something? I forgot. Something where like was that. it? I thought he went to America. Let me see. Let's where take he up was some at. Charlie Chaplin yeah. facts, dude. Let me see. Charlie Chaplin deported. Facts is right there. Uh, uh, deported. Yep, right there. Uh. It says, "Yep, he was forced to leave and move to Switzerland." Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, man. Mm. And they said, why was... Damn, they put canceled there? Why was he canceled? It says, the filmmaker blocked... uh, The filmmaker was blocked from returning under a provision that allowed people of questions moral health or insanity of those advocating... Oh, he was a communist. Oh, shit. I forgot that, too. Yeah, he sure was a communist. He was a commie. Don't like him anymore. Damn, man. (laughs) Yeah, commie's out of here. This is America. America. 
Kind of looks like yeah. Edgar Allan Poe mixed with Adolf Hitler. A oh bit. yeah, man. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's actually very good yeah. comparison. A little bit of Groucho in there. Yeah, yeah. Who was also a, he was a goat, man. You remember Groucho Marx? Everybody. I've never heard of. Nope. You, that dude, you never seen the the Marx Brothers? Oh, Marx Brothers. Yeah, like Groucho. Let me show okay. you, man, dude. They like they were around when the Free Stooges. <laughs> the <laughs> Free, <laughs> Free Stooges. <laughs> Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> the Groucho, see. the Groucho Marx brother. It's just originally Marx, but dude, they were he was clever as shit. Which dude. one's Groucho? The one with the mustache, the fake mustache. Mm. That's fake. Oh yeah, yeah that's very mm. fake. What about I, the eyebrows? Are those fake? Yes, yeah, those mm. are fake also. Let's see, because this wouldn't oh look wait, like without it, dude. Oh my gosh, go back to that first photo. What right, then, right here? The one you clicked on him of the. With it, with the cigar in his mouth. Oh yeah, dude. And now click that one <laughs> under it. Look at his fucking eyes, dude. Well, right here. Damn. No, it wasn't. That that was that was fun, Jeff man. Ross with a wig on the right. Oh shit. Ugh. Oh shit. Look at this one. Yeah, they're crazy cool. You should check them out though. I got their collection in here. I forgot where it was, but yeah, I had their collection too. Mm. They were clever. Yeah, I probably won't watch it, but you gonna watch. Oh, it. Man, um, yeah, I don't have like a. a Phonograph or whatever. <laughs> you know? I'll hook you up, man. Oh, <laughs> I, I had one, but it's it, just man. broke. So you feel old. <laughs> you had a phonograph? I had like one of those. I used to always have what? What is that? That's a what they call that thing? What they call that? The 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 thing you spin the what is it? Called? A record player? A yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> close the record player though. You remember the one with the radio too? That uh-huh. you could like you could play the music and then you could close the top. And you could play radio, or you could do vinyl, or anything old school style. I oh, he's just that. talking about a record player. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was concerned. That's not the same thing, <laughs> huh? That's the same thing, or is that different? Nah, man, it's a little different. Newer than a record player. Oh, it's newer. Hold on. I thought the phonograph that was is that big ass thing with the horn on the yeah. top, dude, where that weird see. shit comes out. Oh, the shit they had on the trains back in the day. Dude. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. I wish. Dude, imagine bumping Chief Keef on this device. <laughs> shit, man. That would be, you'd I be hate dope. being sober. <laughs> I wonder how it would sound, dude. <laughs> it sound probably dope dang. as hell. <laughs> Alexander Jam Bell, dude. <laughs> Look at that. The dopest dude. Well, he was racist, though. Thomas Edison, very. Was he? You remember his first movie or his favorite movie? No. Birth, Birth of, a of a Nation. <laughs> Which was, a, what was it, the box office best that year? Yeah. I think, damn, yeah, that's I'm, crazy. It's a great film. You, you ever heard that show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, now who's taking things back? <laughs> Man, that was uh, oh, you see, it was a great show. <laughs> no, no it was a movie. It was a great yeah. movie. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you didn't like it? Hell no. Nah. That movie it. was horrible. Dude, it was about the KKK rising up. Yeah, I don't. I didn't like heroes. the second version of the KKK as much. The resurgence in the twenties that I just wasn't a big fan of. That <laughs> oh. The original Nathaniel Bedingford Forrest one. That's that shit. You can come July twenty sixth to the show, <laughs> <laughs> the, the birthplace of the KKK. Hey, Pelosi, hey, Tennessee. Yeah. We're doing a show. <laughs> We're doing a show in the birthplace of the KKK, and it's going to be. We had to get another white because we had too many. Yeah. Uh, we we want to make it out Balance of here. Balance it out. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Pray for us. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, man. Pull through. It's Somebody else said they too. did. Uh, they did there. Oh, I guess that was Scott. He ain't really black. Scott Easton. <laughs> no, he's not black at all, dude. <laughs> he wears cool Jordans. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got the sneakers, dude. Yeah, he's a sneakerhead, man. But uh, yeah, actually, I need to talk to somebody black that's been there. I didn't even know that that was the birthplace of the I hear they KKK. Don't come back, dude. Yeah. Seriously. No, it is Pulaski, Tennessee. You don't gotta look it up. That's where we're doing a. That's where we're doing a show at on twenty six. You got fifteen minutes. Yep. 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 <laughs> How about Brandon y'all? has forty five. Yeah, if he y'all. wants to do forty five, I believe you could do forty five. Man, I appreciate it. It's in Tennessee. <laughs> Fort Pulaski, dude. Oh my fucking gosh, Tennessee, not Alabama. What? Oh shit. Soon as I searched it up, look at that. <laughs> Pulaski tenant. Damn, man. And we're going to be there. Den number one of the Ku Klux Klan. Fuck. We should go to the museum. I'm good. No. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I'll be fuck? traveling around oh, in Pulaski. Man. Yeah, man. We're Those be guys were fucking losers. <laughs> 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 look how fucking stupid they look. <laughs> Damn. What the fuck? That was the fucking Mass Jonah Hill cut out. And, oh, uh, dude, that is scary as shit. This is scary as fuck. 
Oh yeah. my gosh! Wait, is that Look for the sale? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. There's a price on the bottom of Hold it. On, let me go back down and see that price. <laughs> Are you gonna buy it? Hell no. Nah. No, it's for sale. Twenty three dollars. Wow. Young adult. Is it a book? I think it looks like a postcard. Music. Let's see. Let's click and find out. In history class, uh, we listen. I said in history class. I majored in fucking history. In one of my history no. classes. Wait, we wait, had wait. we listened to the KKK's music, dude. How was it? Terrible. Yeah, it was good. good. They they had one banger, dude. Is or I don't think it was actually the KKK's music, but it was a song about the KKK. Mm-hmm. It was a very popular song called "Daddy Swiped Our Last Clean Sheets and Joined the Ku Klux Klan." Damn. And those are the lyrics. Oh, okay. And it's also the name of the song. Okay. Tight move. Yeah. Uh, so when did that come out? Nineteen forty-six. No, it was like the 20s. This is your era. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, it's, folks, it really is. I'm an old soul, man. Like, I look young, and I am young, but <laughs> something, something inside makes me feel like I was here way longer. <laughs> well, hopefully, we got a poster put it up if it's here. We'll be there. Come yeah. out mm-hmm. if you're in Pulaski, Tennessee. Bring yes, your sheets. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring your yeah. torches. Yeah, you're going to need it. Brandon, you burn him up. No, no, no. We don't need to burn. Really need about this photo? Is that they put Ku Klux costume and spelled costume with a C. Yeah. The K was right oh, there. Oh, it was yeah. right there. Yeah. KKC. Yeah, you want to be an asshole, at least be clever. <laughs> Fucking <Wow>. worst <laughs> racist yeah, ever. Yeah, the people in the KKK are assholes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like that terminology. Yeah. Yeah, not that nice. Not that nice. So you, so you did a lot of filming for for the skit you and uh, Dan are on. I think this episode yeah. will be out already when it's there. But... uh. I hope it's good, man. It's, I think it will be. Yeah. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be pretty too. good if Dan ever is able to edit it. Dan is going to lose. Look, I'm going to tell you right now. By the time this comes out, it's already be done, and we'll have the story of what happened. Dan right now is putting all the clips together. And what I think is probably happening right now is something he thought was going to be hard is actually easier. Now, this could be good. Or it could suck. Because then you're like, oh, if I did that, that was what I thought was going to be the hardest thing. I got that knocked out the way. And then something that's supposed to be so simple, it's going to take him four hours to complete. For maybe five seconds of of the five-minute skit. He's going to lose his family. He's going to lose his mind and his family and his (laughs) job probably. (laughs) (laughs) But we're rooting for you. Hell yeah. You can do it. But it's going to come out good. (laughs) (laughs) It's gonna be good. I'm excited. It's I told be, I'm Dan he needs coming. a cameo in the skit. I think he should be like Stan Lee. This is Alex Z. What Alex Z said. He should be like Stan Lee and cameo in all the skits, like just for a second. I agree. Not a big role. Just be in there. I think yep. that's dope, dude. Mm-hmm. He could have been Nikki's uh, husband. Yeah. Oh. Auntie Ro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he should have been like the fucking. The dude that sold us the guns at the pawn shop. Who did y'all get this? The pawn shop dude? No, we didn't film that scene. But mm. if he was in it, I would, he should have added a scene where he's like suspicious about it. But then I walk in. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> yeah, Sci-Fi was also outside of a pawn shop this morning with a shotgun at like 8 a.m. <laughs> and and I would like to say this, okay? What happened? Sci-Fi, he had a rough night. I'm understanding of that. But he was an hour late to the shoot. Always and then he showed up late. to the wrong pawn shop, and then he ran out of gas driving to the <laughs> pawn shop he was supposed to be at. So then we had to go pick him up, bring him back, shoot the skit, take him to get gas, take him back to his car, dude. And I told him I was going to say this on the podcast. I understand you had a rough night, Mr. Got Jokes, but <laughs> I'm, I still have to say it. And he was like, okay, I'm going to crash a podcast and defend myself. What time are you guys recording? I said, 4 p.m. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I have board duties that I have to attend to. I have a meeting for the board. BMO. Did you make it on time there, Sci-Fi? That's a good huh? question. Mm. Kim and Jessica, you guys keep, you keep him on the board for no reason. Yeah. I bet he had a full tank, dude. Got there up. on time, full tank. I've, I've been to three shoots with Sci-Fi. He was late to everyone. The first one here, when I was at his house before the shoot, he was like, oh, you getting up? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go back. He's like, all right, I'll be there. And then came like two hours late. Damn. <laughs> it's wild. It's a wild thing to do. 
But when but when Dan got the food, he was there on time. That, you, that is oh my god, that's true. <laughs> Damn. That's the only time he came. Everybody like showed up. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody hey, that was shit. There. Shout out to Moe's. Yeah. That fucking white sauce, dude. Yeah, that shit was good. Man. Bro. Mm-hmm. That turkey, that barbecue turkey sandwich with the sauce, those wings, man. Shout out Mad Malt Brewery, oh, yeah, Brewery Mad- Brewing Company. Yeah. What, yeah. Mad Malt. Mad Malt. That's they, a uh, cool place. Hell yeah, let us film outside. They got Barbecue. A cat. Brandon came through looking like a fucking yes, drugged out uncle. Yes, Insert picture here. You know dude, where to find it, Alex. The <laughs> drip was on a, another level, dude. No, that was, hey, you was dripped up. Thank you. Icy. And that's my new style for now. Well, when we get some more polos and clean that one, we're going to be like, I'm going to start wearing more polos. <laughs> yeah, yep. You look polos. like you're about to go to Monday Night Raw. Right? <laughs> oh, dude, and I'm always ready for that, too. But, <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> uh, shit, I would go. Especially in Birmingham. What kind of what kind of gibbets you got on Ooh, your crotch, man? I'm glad you asked. Oh yeah, look, look, yeah are they look, metal? Oh yeah, it's in there. Star Wars Crocs, man. Oh, oh cause you Star watched Wars. them now. I they watched. couldn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you know what? You can't see down here. Sorry, y'all. There it is. Uh. It was upside down. I know. <laughs> yep, I got the Crocs, and now I got them wide out and open, man. But uh, we're gonna get socks too. Yeah. So, because I was getting bad advice from people. Mm-hmm. Wrong people. They were like, yeah. man, just wait, why are you wearing socks? What, what color wearing? were they? Black. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were black, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. And they told you to wear Crocs with no socks? Well, I feel like they were just dismissing me, because it was at my house, and I was, at, I was like, yo, should I wear the socks or the nose? And they're like, it don't matter, just do you. And they just kept doing what they were doing. So I was like, oh. oh, okay. Well, then they didn't tell you to wear no socks then. No, they're like, yeah, they're like you can do whatever. So I was like, oh, okay. And now that I'm wearing them, I don't like this, because it's scary, man. Because, like, at any moment, you know me. Uh-huh. You you know mm-hmm. I sweat. Yeah, bad sometimes. Uh huh. And I just thought about it, like that'd be horrible if I'm just here and we talking. Then it comes through the tunnels and now we all smell. Yeah. Feet. Yeah. You don't and put I, powder on. Powder. <laughs> powder. Like the gold bound. Gold bonds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The gold bound. You you got they got two different kinds. You got body powder and you got foot powder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why the man. fuck did she just like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm thinking, man. Mm. Man, I don't. It's like the f- damn. You man. started thinking about feet. Put myself, put myself on the spot here, man. No, not not today, dude. After oh, first of all, why is he running out of breath? I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Oh, I was just explaining the foot stuff. Yeah, but why the moan? Oh well, because. <laughs> See that that didn't come out right because I was thinking I was like hmm I'm in yeah I got to tell them the truth I don't mm. that, that's what that type of mo not the, oh okay not the feet thing you don't the need foot. the powder if you just wear the socks oh yeah but I'm you still can put them on the under the you you just put it on your feet then put your socks on huh. keep you fresh longer I and like on your body because you sweat dude, well first of all let's give a <laughs> <laughs> let's, profuse sweating yeah, dude let's give a clap to Brandon for winning <laughs> shenanigans oh, hell yeah. number yeah. one. You're Thank still number you. one. Defend his champion next one. You got to go defend yourself next one. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's what we're going to do. One of Joker's Wild. Uh, stand up, open mic, $100 mm-hmm. winner. Yeah. Hosted by Daniel Harden. Shout out. And then uh, and then afterwards, you know, congratulations. Happy for him. Yeah. So I go out there to give him a hug. And Bad idea, man. He was the wedding. I mean, he, he literally could have, if he would have told me he jumped in water and then jumped back out. Yeah. The same consistency of wetness. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I was also sitting next to Brandon when they announced that he won, and he just kept sitting there. <laughs> For real? Because I was confused. I was like, wait, do I, I, like, do I wait till after to say like, hey? And the no. winner is Brandon Willis, and he's just sitting there. <laughs> and me and Matthew Lumber were like, yo, dude, you won. He was like, hmm. <laughs> I, didn't, I was confused for a minute. I was like, oh, shit. And like, Brandon, you won. Up? Go up there. He's like, okay. I was, I was and just he kept sitting right. there. And we're like, dude, go get the money. He was like, right yeah. now? Like, yeah, dude. You want it. Yeah, I didn't want to look like I just wanted to run up there and be like, oh, shit, give me the money. Yeah, you know, so I was thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, shit, how should I go up there? He's like, trying to be Mr. Cool, I was, bro. Like, I was like, I don't want you to be like, oh, oh man, he just want this money. No, man, I'm, I'm happy. And I'm very excited. And I was sweaty. It was bad. Oh, yeah. Good, but good. Good, good right? Man, I was so happy because that was a milestone. Definitely. A good oh, hell yeah, dude. Did you get some action after that? Action, yeah, yeah, I got some action. Oh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, man, went home, played some WWE. <laughs> That's my action. 
No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we, but, but after that, we did get action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we fucked while playing WWE. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got action. It's good. Yeah, yeah but yeah. sweating, that's a horrible thing. I hate it. I feel like it's a curse down from whoever hates people. I don't mm. know, because that shit's bad. Like, you remember, did I tell, you remember when I told you about my exam? Yeah. When I went yeah. up? Yeah. So oh. I, I, at my college, man, now we got to go up a hill. <laughs> and I was going up this hill. Sweating so fucking bad. Like, it's so bad. I wanted to turn around. I didn't even want to take this exam. I wanted to take the F because it was so bad. And I went up there. And every time I go to this dude's class, I miss 20 minutes or 30 minutes because I have to dry off. And then I have to get a different shirt and change and shit. And then I go in there and it's halfway through. And then I got I to gotta get the other stuff so we don't. It's not a bad situation. We smelling bad. So I go in there and I take the test. And I can't go to the bathroom because it's a time thing, right? So I'm just sweating horrible. And it's getting all over my homework and People looking at me like I'm about to die or something. Then I got to go up to him and give him the soaked up, soggy ass essay <laughs> and smile and be like, oh, man, there you go. Man, you want to grade it? But thankfully, I passed. <laughs> That's all I can say. And now I'm a cashier now. So now whenever I'm bagging people's grocery, I got to have my sweat rag and just whew, try to help you out and then calculate my fingers now because you got to do the percentage shit. Donations. What What are the percentages what, yeah. that you do? Oh, okay, so, so somebody be like, "Hey man, you know, I just like let's say they had eight fifty or something. Mm-hmm. Hey man, it could be anything. It could be like, hey, round <laughs> it up to the next dollar, or you can round it up to let's say twenty, <laughs> yeah, or fifty or thirty or something. And if, if they generous enough, <laughs> if they generous enough, and I'm gonna have to figure it out." Right, so then <laughs> but then it's not a calculation. Brandon, where are the percentages, man? Because, oh, my bad. Roundups. They'll be like, round it up to that. <laughs> like one dude, dude. He's I just talking about like, like 74 cents. Dude, he, my, my mind slipped because one dude said, he was like, round it up to 10. I said, like, all right, I got you. And I accidentally round up, I rounded up to nine. And then he looked at me like, he could have done ten. I was like, "Fuck!" I should have had a whole nother dollar. You right, man? But he was why gone. did you round up to nine? <laughs> because I was like, dude, in my mind, I was like, I wanted to get it. I wanted to get the round. So I was like, first, let's get it up, because I want to round it up. Make sure I round it up to the nine dollar. And then as soon as I did that, I forgot to add the extra fucking. Round. <laughs> <laughs> but every other one was perfect though. Braden, Braden. Hmm. <laughs> when, somebody, <laughs> when somebody says, "I was overthinking, man," Brett, Brett, if somebody pays eight fifty for something mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and tells you to round it up to ten dollars, a dollar fifty, I mean, yeah, yeah, but there's no math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just ten dollars. You just type it in as ten dollars into the register. I'm gonna be honest. I got a little scared. So, so. <laughs> It was my first time, man. And no, I even dude, I get it, I get it, man. But <laughs> okay, I'm just so, saying for future reference. Oh yeah. I it, got it now. So you do less math. Uh well now now what I do is I'll if they say round up something, I'll be like I'll start off with the hundred and then I'll minus whatever's <laughs> on there with the hundred. And I'm like, okay, the remainder is what you put on there. So then that's what I started doing now. And then it works every time now. Cause like I just use my mind to look impressive. I'll be like, mm. If I have to pull out my phone, I pull it out. So, but, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Brandon, so I, I'm a customer. I'm a customer. Okay. And my groceries are $21.48. And I tell you, I want to round it up to $25 for the donation. Okay, so you said $24. And how much? 48 cents. Right? $21. $21.48. <laughs> and 48 cents. I end up round it up. To twenty five dollars. Okay. What are you gonna put into the cash register? All right. So first we add four, and then you said forty eight cents, right? Yes. Twenty one forty eight. So, okay. Fifty take away two. Hold on. I gotta count here. All right. So forty eight and fifty eight. Hold on. Forty eight. Ten twenty. Okay. So we add the sixty. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I know you got the four dollars. I'm, I'm thinking right now. Okay, let's see. Fifty. Ten. So now we have sixty. Take away two. Okay, so sixty-two cents and four dollars. Hmm? Five dollars. Oh, I thought you said twenty-one because yeah. one, two, three, four, and then the sixty-two cents. So then that makes it all twenty-five together, right? It would be, be a dollar less than yeah. that. Yeah, 
Because you got the twenty one oh, when said, you when you get the change. Twenty one forty eight. So fifty two cents added onto that's gonna make it twenty two. So yeah, once you add Oh the, my bad, fifty two. Man, I'm slipping, my bad. Four dollars and fifty two cents. <laughs> that's what you said the first time. No, no, the fifty two is right. Yes. So if you have the twenty one forty eight, you add fifty two cents to that uh-huh. and it's twenty two dollars. Oh shit, my bad, three dollars. Yeah, I'm giving them an extra dollar. Yeah, dude. Brandon, I just want to know what your fucking end of the day <laughs> count is. There's no way dude, it's right. surprisingly I made like more than <laughs> I looked at it and they're like, man, you weighed damn, you still made from, more than the goal. I was like, damn. You're still in from the customers, Brad. <laughs> you're still in their money for donations. We're learning. That's why you're making record breaking donations. <laughs> Brandon's the best public employee in history, dude. <laughs> they're like, we like your style, Brandon. We're gonna, we're gonna need you oh, to stay God. here. Good couple more years if you can. <laughs> You won't have to clean toilets, but keep robbing these customers. Oh, dude, this is hurting me. Yeah. So I like this. I, I love it. Uh, yeah. So, so whenever you put it in, you just have to separate whatever the real price mm-hmm. is to the donations. Yeah. So and put they, it in a different or like a, a different account or what? So what I do is I scan this thing, and then this barcode pops up, and then it says how, how much? much do you want to put in? And then what I can do is I'll put in an amount, and it'll be like it'll show me how much it'll be all together. Uh-huh. So then, thankfully, I can confirm it, and if it's like not enough, I'll be like, "Oh, let me back out of this and redo it." And then I will redo it. And we'll so when the dude right. said he wanted to donate ten dollars, oh yeah, that part. What happened was I was texting, and then I put it in, and then added in the rest of the change to bring it up to nine because I wasn't thinking. Because, like, I literally, I remember before he came up, I literally. Okay, so but I'm just saying in your process, you said you brought it up to nine because you wanted to make sure. Yes. Now, why? If it, you know. Oh, I don't get that part of the. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know why it went over my head when he said round it up. I was like, oh, shit, let me just round it up. And I wasn't thinking add the extra round up part. I don't know what happened there. It was. Because I cannot not do it. I, I remember before that, I was looking at the lady. I was like. Wait, so I got to round this up by myself? She's like, yeah. And then I was like, well, thankfully, we won't have to deal with it. As soon as I turned, round up. But everybody else was like $1, $2. Then they had to round up. But then after my mistake, I sat there and thought for a minute. Used my hands. Used a little calculator if I had to. And then we had them all perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Your boy is a good cashier now. It was a rocky start, but had everybody come. Because I kept on, they had the thing, celebration. I kept on ringing this. And everybody was like, damn, he keep ringing it. That's what's up. And it got to the point where I started having to ask people, I was like, do you want me to ring this or you want to ring this? Or we just don't have to ring this because it's, I don't know if it's getting on your nerves or not. But you hear that, Publix? Sure is. Give this I man am, a raise. I am going to Publix and buying something. Yes. From yeah. Brandon. I'm, I'm going to go tomorrow. through the line three or four times and have <laughs> you ring the bell. Uh, damn, man. <laughs> Shit. I'm like, yeah, I gave it to one dude. He just took it. I'm like, hey, hey, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Damn, like, hey, man, you can't. He's like, oh, I thought this is part of my donut. No, man, get my <laughs> It's a donation. You don't get yeah. anything in return. Oh, no. Man. You get free coupons. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gave a lot of free coupons to people, man. Good coupons? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's all right. For what items? Do you remember any of them? I forgot. It was like basic house stuff. Like, you got a little toilet paper stuff, a oh, downy. Okay. Maybe you got a little couple snacks. A lot of downy. Oh, yeah. We need a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. Maybe you get a water or something nice. I don't know, dude. They had a lot of good stuff, though. Yeah, hook <laughs> Water you up. or something nice. He said, no, some nice. water. <laughs> They'll hook you water. up. They'll hook you up. Hell yeah. Well, go to Publix and see Brandon and donate. What, what What's the cause? Uh, okay. American <laughs> Miracle Network. We're helping oh, okay. Oh, okay. American yeah. who? Mar- American Miracle Network. Okay. Yeah. Well, they do. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Children's Miracle Network. Okay. So oh, it's kids. like St. Jude's? Yes. Is, yeah. it, is that their thing? Let I mean, Let me make sure. It's kids with cancer and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good call. So yes. go donate. Yeah. To Publix, and if you see Brandon, give him an extra donation. Make it do yes. a little math. Or Say, not. I want to <laughs> add a dollar. Please. I want to add twenty percent of the total, <laughs> and then round it up to the yeah, please. For the love cent. of God, do this <laughs> and film it. And <laughs> Brandon won't know who you are. He won't even remember this conversation we're having I'm right not. now. I'm gonna be confused. See, look at <laughs> look at these kids, man. This is yeah. who you're donating yes. to, man. Yeah. They've got the Windows XP background behind them. Their fate is in my hands right <laughs> that, now. That is the window. <laughs> Their yep. fate is in my hands. Yep. Right now. And you're gonna get all that money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much? How much money did you raise for them, dude? Eighty five dollars. Eighty five dollars in one day. Yep. And I was only supposed to do seventy five. Oh. Yeah. And forty yeah. of it was stolen. <laughs> <laughs>
It may, <laughs> may or may not have been a little bit more. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. There's not a chance that you didn't still. Oh, yeah. Dude, people. I even told him, I was like, man. My, and they were like, dude, it's your first day. We understand. I was like, thank you. Oh, so it, you know what happened. Oh, no. I didn't take no. no. Like, like, no. I'm, I know you. I'm saying like you made a mistake and then the people. Oh were like, yeah, it's okay. yeah, like because if, if I you went up like five dollars when they said two. Yeah, like well, thankfully I got to back out before I had to call anybody up front. Uh huh. Yeah, because if I have a mistake, I'll be like right there, like man, just come here for a minute, <laughs> put in your code. What's the biggest mistake you ever made at work? Ooh, <sighs> biggest mistake. I guess the biggest recent mistake was when I saw somebody run out with shit, and I was like. Just like, damn, I can't do shit about that. I don't think that's, that's not a mistake. That's not on you. you you're not, not supposed business. to do it. Yeah, anymore. you're right. I think he's no, because people, yeah, like, somebody is. wanted me, like, why didn't you do nothing? I was like, dude, I'm not finna die for some damn toilet paper or some shit. Oh, run yeah, up. Yeah. He pull out with a damn 12 gauge or some shit. You get paid seven twenty five. You Exactly. Not, you man. Fucking fuck them. But what, besides that, yeah, what's that the doesn't matter. Because I've made some whoppers. Dude. Oh, yeah. Man, whoppers, whoppers, whoppers. Hmm. I guess one thing. That I probably did was I guess with the first time cash hearing, when I first started, I may or may not have donated ten bucks to somebody thinking it was a dollar because it was in the wrong spot. I don't know how I got it's to the wrong spot. It's very similar. Because I was counting, two. I was no because I was looking. I was like, okay, one, two, because it was in the one, two dollar. <laughs> now I looked at one. I was like, when I gave it away, but I thought about. It, I was like, I hope so. It may or may not have been, but I don't. So somebody gave you a ten. And you thought it was a one and no, change no, that no, in the cash. No, he thing, gave them a ten. Oh, because a because in the thing, <laughs> I don't know. There, I think there was a ten accidentally in the dollar mm. thing. Yeah, well, Brandon, you were I the cashier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like my first day, and I opened it up, <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh shit!" So I don't know if I did it fast. <laughs> like maybe I looked at it fast, and I was just like, "Oh, that looked like one," and I just Similar. paranoid, paranoid myself. Yeah. And so hopefully that wasn't a mistake, man. I almost made a big ass mistake yesterday, though. What almost happened? killed a fucking possum driving home in the middle of the night with this other car. I came back in, I heard doo doo. <laughs> then I drove back down to make sure that I didn't do nothing wrong. Thankfully, I didn't. What was the doom doom? I swear, I thought it was the fucking pot. Dude, I lost my shit. <laughs> you probably did. You run probably it over. did. Dude, you just wandered off. Yeah, that's wood. what I thought because I was like, I was died like, grotesquely. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely what happened. <laughs> I, yeah, I accidentally caught myself off guard. I was like, what if he was like, oh shit, and he just crawled up to a tree and died with honor. <laughs> I feel so fucking bad. I hope I didn't kill this thing. I tell man. you, I fucking destroyed a possum Damn, not that man. long ago oh. when we were driving to Maggie Myers from Jake and Charlie were in the truck in front of me mm -hmm. and they like swerved out of the way, but I was driving behind them and I just fucking hit it because I had no time to react. Yeah. Did you That's what it? you're supposed to do, though. Yeah, he was dead as shit, dude. Yeah. Damn, man. Damn. It's a possible. Maybe he's I know, faking it. I know. Damn. <laughs> they do that. They do do that. Yeah, yeah. Not when they're getting crushed by a couple tons of <laughs> metal. But I thought I was going to see him busted open in that fucking street. So you I just didn't see him. That's twerking. why you thought you didn't kill him? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I turned around. I was like, damn, because I forgot something. I forgot my pen. You can't forget that. The weed pen. Writing. So I, I went back <laughs> <laughs> and got that. <laughs> And then I drove back to make sure that uh, the job wasn't finished because we don't want that job finished. I want it alive. And uh, it wasn't there. It just wasn't there. No. Yeah, you probably broke his back and it crawled Fuck. Damn, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, damn, he probably crawled Or it's like crushed up under your car. I couldn't do it. It's still there. I would not. That's going to be a part of my fuck. Ugh, man. Fuck that. Ugh. But at least it's just a possum. Like, a turtle will be worse to hit. You can possum. ramp off of a turtle. You yeah. can catch some air on one or of those. Or a groundhog. Those are big as fuck. Groundhog, though. Yeah. Like I seen them. You see how they die? They look so weird, man. Like, they Dude, all like this. Did y'all see that beaver that got... It was a fucking big-ass beaver got hit right here on Zert Road. Mm -mm. Oh. And, like, it was there for, like, almost, like, a week. And uh, it, it just looked so funny because their his arms were so short <laughs> and his mouth was open. And oh, like, the teeth! Mm, the yeah, the teeth was out. I saw a beaver walking across that thing like a long time ago. Out here in the back, yeah, yeah. by the pond. Damn. And then, dude, there was one time I used to go to this. I used to go to this gym, and there was like this bridge going up to Ardmore, and there was this dead dog on the side of the bridge. It was like a blue healer, like mm -hmm. one of the small ones. Uh huh. And nobody moved it for like four months, dude. It was like it was 
the summer. Dude. It was like oh, oh. July. It was like melted Ugh. into the side of the road. And so that's what I would think about when I was trying not to uh, ejaculate too fast. I would what? think I, while having sex, I would think about that grotesquely just like burnt up dog on the hot asphalt and just the smell. People. The he, smell. He has killed people before. Damn. I am sure of it. You just and, hear what he just said? Yeah, that was fucking He thought crazy. about a dead mutilated dog. During yeah. sex. During sex. Were you doing doggy stuff? And then I came, <laughs> dude. Damn. You can't, it didn't work. No, it just sped it up. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got me going, dude. That's horrible, man. I, ugh, I yeah, saw I'm a sorry, dog bro. on the highway once, man. I was like, damn. You saw what on the highway? I saw, a, I saw a dog on the highway once, man. I was like, nobody going to get this Pomeranian. It was bad. He was oh, dude, that's a crazy dog. I, just yeah, that's what right. I, was I couldn't say. believe it. I was like, this dog is right. Like, like I remember I saw a golden retriever, too, when I was leaving from the wire, man. And I was like, I know that this thing is not dead on the side. When that turned around. And then uh, the dog hospital was there, you know, a little veterinarian. People pulled up with their truck, thankfully got him. Weird shit. He was still dead, though. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> thankfully, they yeah. got him, dude. <laughs> yeah, he was gone, man. He was. <laughs> He's <laughs> gone, sadly. What's Rest the word? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas dead. <laughs> the bushes baked beans, dog. <laughs> He's dead, man. Really. No more. I love Marley, all right? <laughs> Who? <laughs> you never seen Marley? And Marley, Marley and me. Oh, Mar- <laughs> no more. I love Marley. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Marley died yeah. on the side of the street. Uh, that was a good uh. dude too, right? Rest in peace, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he hears you. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing's gonna be all right. Well, he's dead. Dude. <laughs> I guess it wasn't all right. Then, was it? <laughs> Rest in peace, though. Oh, right. God. He's a good dude. He got high. Fred had never changed one <laughs> Rest time. Rest in peace to that guy. He got high. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I still got to see that movie. Oh, the Bob Marley movie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Before we get off track, what's the what's the one thing that uh you fucked up at work? Oh, dude, what have I not fucked up like at work? Like the one man? that you're like, oh, I fucked up. There's been a lot. There was one time I worked at Target, and it was Black Friday, and this dude came in and bought like seven or eight ps4s and he was using this black friday coupon that you know like the oh. the little magazines they yeah. hand out around the holidays yeah like it, the kids like they circle what they want for christmas this was a man and he had one of those and he had it circled and he bought seven of them and i rang up the coupon on like all seven and I didn't look at the fine print where it's like limited to one. Oh, so i lost them like a shit ton of money because <laughs> it was like a straight up it was the year before the next gen console okay a year out. before the five yeah so it, it was the ps4 like it was the ps4 and the spider-man game for like 150 bucks oh my god be like 300 damn. damn so it was like we're talking about like a, over a thousand dollars holy shit did they fire you? Into you oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that was black friday and then I think I worked, I came in for my shift the next week and I got called into like the, because I didn't even realize, and nobody realized, I guess, until they looked back at it. Uh-huh. And they called me in the, to the office next week and they were like, hey, did you um sell a whole bunch of PS4s last week on Black Friday? And I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing good, right? <laughs> and, then, and they were like, yeah, I was a... Uh, that was a one-use coupon. You know, after you clock out today, don't worry about coming oh, back. Man. I was like, oh, okay, sick, dude. I get PTO, and they're like, no, <laughs> you're fired. I was like, oh, Damn. Sick. sick. See, that's my worst nightmare, man. That's why I was so terrified to cash here, and one day something like that happened. Well, at least they don't sell shit like that at Publix. Yeah. Oh, nah, man. They, they sell, like, food close to that price, though, sometimes. Well, to, like, 100 yeah. for what? 25 for like a really pricey steak, probably some uh-huh. big, big dude and people because it's like the rich area, man. Everybody coming yeah. in with it's max the downtown by the hospital. Six hundred dollar okay. orders each. It's like crazy. Yeah, or like five hundred for a new. They it'd be like two or three carts, man. Mm. 
I be scanning and bagging them too. Do, do, do. And bagging? <laughs> some, yeah, most of the time. Because, like, you know, people be busy. They have to go or something. So that's just me. I be like, Ch -ch -ch. I feel yeah. like that. They only have to go when it's you, Brandon. Because every time I go to Publix, there, there's a bag of that. <laughs> I be like, hey, hold on, man. You're not busy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I also made another mistake at Target. This lady yelled at me because I put. She had bought just like a whole bunch of random, like, you know, like a grocery, like every week if you go and get random groceries. I put the pacifier she bought in the same bag as a bottle of bleach. Ooh. And she was real mad about that. Well, so he's I mean, a disinfectant, dude. Eh. I mean, I understand. It's you packaged up. With that. The pacifier was packaged too? Both of them, yeah. Yeah. You should have been. What the fuck is she talking about? She was just real mad about it. Oh. Which I understand, probably. <laughs> First time parent, you know. Yeah. They're always yeah. real cautious with the first one. Yeah, yeah. Until, you know, it's their they go to college and you're in debt and Oh yeah, bad. they didn't want nothing to do with you. Then you wish then you would have wished I would have dipped that motherfucker in there and gave it to him, dude. <laughs> yeah. Pay my uh, to this. I remember one time I was driving a forklift and I was working with ammo, right? But I didn't know how to drive a forklift. And they were just like, Hey, go take this uh this big ass pallet of ammo. And put it over here. And I told him, I was like, I don't know how to drive a forklift. He was like, oh, you'll figure it out. Fuck are you talking about? So I go over there, and I don't figure it out. And I raise this whole probably about $25,000 a piece. So let's say over $300,000 worth of ammo on this pallet. And I raised it up, and I got the shit stuck in the air. All the way to wherever the highest you've ever seen a forklift goes, a 10K forklift. So a real big one. I had it all the way out and all the way up, and it could have killed like a lot of people. <laughs> and then we couldn't figure it out how to get back down. It got stuck up there. Whatever happened to it? Man? We had to get another bigger forklift to come over there and like slam all the stuff on the ground. But how was it stuck? I don't know. I think it was because of the weight or whatever. It was oh. too much weight to go that far. Because the farther you go out and the farther you go up, the less strength the yeah. forklift has. Yeah. Hmm. So if it's all the way out and all the way up, and it just got stuck but up But it there. wouldn't even go down? Couldn't do anything with it. It was stuck. Huh. Damn. It was stuck all the way up. I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. Man, I mean, they didn't teach you how to... I mean, it's my first time driving a forklift. <laughs> when I worked this landscaping job, my first day, he put me in an excavator. And I'm like, you know, I have no experience <laughs> with, like, heavy machinery or operating anything like this. And he was like, you ever played a video game? I was like, yeah. He was like, you, you got it. <laughs> I'm like what and I couldn't get it started it took me like three hours because <laughs> I didn't know you had to have your seatbelt on and the thing over you for it to just start and then once I get it we're on like this steep ass hill in this backyard in this really like very wealthy neighborhood in Madison and we're trying to terrace this backyard and we're digging up these boulders like straight up boulders dude it looked like a fucking meteorite and we're tying a chain around the bucket and then trying to get it around the boulder to pull it out and then we got this one out, dude, and it just started rolling down the hill directly towards the house. And I was like, Damn. I just murdered a family. <laughs> and their home is gone. Like, this is going to be bad. But then it stopped. So we're all good. There's another time. Were you just standing there, like, staring at it while it was rolling down? I mean, I'm not going to go try and catch no, it. No, I know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You didn't run after you. just stared at it, right? I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the excavator, and I'm just like, Damn, man. <laughs> well... I look for another job. Jesus. <laughs> There's another time, that same job, we were like trying to demolish this storm shelter that was underground. So we had to like dig it out and dig a trench around it. And, and we were trying to cut off the roof and just collapse it in on itself and just bury all of it. And so I had a stone saw, which you have to like attach a water hose to to spray the blade so it doesn't overheat or melt or whatever and i'm standing on top of the roof trying to cut out what i'm standing on like so i would fall into this like 12 foot hole with water is filling up in it from the saw there's exposed rebar from where we like oh, cut off it. the sides oh, and then you, the, oh my the saw is also plugged in to the electrical outlet and then i i'm trying to move it and it won't move and i look and the extension cord is in the people's pool and I'm like ankle deep in water, and my friend is in the excavator banging the top of the roof that I'm standing on with the bucket to try to get it to, to fall. So if it would have fell, I would have got impaled by rebar, electrocuted, drowned, dropped a saw on myself. Oh my! 
I mean, it would have been like a crazy death. <laughs> it would have had to have been. I probably would have had like three caskets. <laughs> You know what I mean? It would have made it on the Yeah, you would have been dead. They would have been like, man, we can't even get this dude out. Yeah, Yeah, that's that's horrible. That's what scares me, dude. Could you imagine Brandon doing. Dude, no. Listen, if he said that to me, like he's like, or it's like a video game. You're going to sit in this room, and I would have accidentally probably ran into where he was sitting at. (laughs) Would have been like, oh, it's a fucking game, huh? How did this happen? Oh, man, it's GTA. Because you're dead. (laughs) All right, I'm sorry. I told you I didn't know how to use this shit. Now look where we at. Brandon shouldn't be using any heavy no, machinery man. in the no. slightest. No. A cash a cash register is the heaviest thing. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't <man. laughs> well, even feel safe on a fucking what is that Cadillac Escalade or whatever they call those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever they call them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they the exactly. the name. <laughs> Those nice little cars. I like Cadillacs. <laughs> That's like the biggest. I'm a Cadillac. Car. Well, that one's big, but you know the other Cadillacs. They're big too. They're like known for being wait the large. long ones. They're the bigger than that. <laughs> the small long ones. What? The ones because I know that's not an SUV. The little tiny what do they call those? Just regular a CTS. A CTS. Oh yes, the CTS. Yes. Is it CTS or CT? CTS. I think. C- CTS. I think there's two. Okay. There's yeah. a CTS for sure. That's the one. I and want. CVS is a pharmacy. CVS. <laughs> CTS. <laughs> Cadillac. There we go. Yeah. Okay. The CTSV. Nice. Look that one up. That's the one that uh, Hugh Jackman was driving in that Logan movie. You said the V? At the oh, beginning. Okay. That shit, oh, yeah, yeah. That shit's fire, what, dude. What, this? Yeah, it was, he was driving like an armored nice. one of those. Oh, oh man, dude. Nice. That's always been my dream to have like a Cadillac like that. Like, you remember the 1928 one that Al Capone no. had that was bulletproof? <laughs> no. One, no one remember. Man. Can you look it up? Yes, man. Let man. me show you this beautiful piece of. You art. remember that car from a hundred years ago that nobody's ever seen? Not yet. It's close to a hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's ninety six. <laughs> it's right there. I mean, it's probably one of those, right? Let's see, Al Capone. Al Capone. Yep. <laughs> look at this car, man. That looks like the Joker's car. I know it's nice. <laughs> and then, like, where, where's the in? Hopefully, hopefully, we find you good interior because they have things where you could. Uh, it looks terrible, dude. Yeah. I know it looks terrible, but they have stuff that I mean, it's probably shit now. But back in the day, man, you could raise it up and protect everything. It'd be like a tank. Uh, it no, is kind of cool. Oh, That's and also had police radars on it too. So the police came. You could listen to the radio and go beep, 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 uh-huh. warn you. You can still get one. Yeah, of you can still oh, get yeah, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of my, yeah, I have, a, I have a family member that has one. Yeah, I remember he used to show me. He was like, this is how you do it. And I was like, okay. Like, oh, there's somebody getting murdered. <laughs> nah, mm. But guess what? I don't need that, man. I just have my eyes and look around. <laughs> I can see it. That's all you need, man. Yeah. You see a good cop coming. You got good vision, Brandon? <laughs> nah, not really, man. I haven't been to eye doctor in years. Do you, do you, can you see? Can you see, like. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, back in the day. Can you, like, can you read this? Yeah, please don't do coke in the bathroom. Okay. Well, he's also seen that sign. A whole can you bunch. read this? I can see the silver dollar comedy nights. Okay. Yeah, yeah you can see that. Yeah, I can see pretty good. I remember they had me wear glasses before, <laughs> like, like when I was in like high school for something. It was like some reading glasses or something with the little uh, square at the bottom, and then you had the thing where you could see like normally on one side. Oh, and like you look down. bifocals? Yeah, bifocals. I used to have to <laughs> How wear fucking those. old are you, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have to wear bifocals, but I kept losing them or breaking them. So. What's, what does this say right here? Oh, my gosh. Finding your funny. Two thumbs up. Okay. I can't do after that. Yeah, but, but I feel see. like nobody can do after that. You got you got pretty good eyesight. Damn, because I, 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 I am licensed to give you an eye exam. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Discounted no. I mean, we can just do it right here, dude. Okay. I mean, I don't have any of the equipment. So. I also don't do the exams. Oh, okay. All right. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Brandon, we just did. You can read that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a good man. Look at this. We already I'm, we got I'm a, it all good. Well, I'm good. good. I can read. I'm a good man. <laughs> I can read. I can read perfectly from afar. So I feel like I outgrew that, man. I need those buy it. <laughs> Buy fucking lingo glasses. He, to fuck Brandon me. actually oh. reversed macular degeneration, dude. <laughs> the first human ever. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Maybe, do you have a problem with seeing up close? Because if you have reading glasses, that would imply no. that you have, you're you farsighted. I don't know why I did that in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading his palms. Dude. That's what I was <laughs> Look, ingredients purified water. You got that calcium, a little uh-huh. bit of chloride. Oop. I almost said chlorine. 
And then sodium. Uh huh. Bi- okay, hold on. Bicarbonate. Uh huh. That's pretty good. That's good. Bicarbonate, all right. It likes both men. Purified and women. by reverse osmosis. <laughs> osmosis Jones. Osmosis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, osmosis. Osmosis. Yeah. Osmosis. That's what it is. All what right, is here. It? Oh. All right, we got to go, but after we're going to go after this. Uh, won't you read the ingredients in this right here? <laughs> Good catch, bro. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? All right. Top shelf, uh-huh. king nitric oxide. Uh-huh. Your kingdom will come. More size, more blood flow, no. less fatigue. That's not the Science ingredients. Fact. Oh, shit, my bad. I got happy. Let me see. The- okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the ingredients. Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Just try. Hypromelosis, right? Uh-huh. Melos? We don't know. Dude. Capsule, <laughs> magnesium, st- sterate. <laughs> and then you got silicone di- dioxide, yep. micro crystalline cell loose. loose. Yeah. Yeah. And then it says set- Setria is a registered trait. What the fuck is that? The Kiowaka <laughs> Haka Bio Co? Yeah, Pure he just had a slur a in a different way. <laughs> I probably did because I don't know what. <laughs> Let me see it, man. It's I want a different wanna... fucking language. Let's see. Let's see if Whoa, we get it. What was the Bayahaka? <laughs> you scroll down a little bit. <laughs> what? You said scroll down a little bit. <laughs> You'll see it. Wait, so wait, I don't, dude. I'm not. Oh, d- yeah, Brandon. That's the company, man. <laughs> that's not an ingredient. It's Kiowa. Hako Bio Company. It's a Japanese. It looks Japanese. But, mm. but yeah. I mean, you were killing that other I shit. I know, man. right, man? I, I know. I'm getting there. See, boy. Hey, you, hey. I see you skip some of these. <laughs> I, some of them are like, dude, we're not going to. That's too crazy. Dom, you, you go ahead. Uh, you know yeah, I could just spell it be. All right. Hydromelatonus. Uh, that was a spell. Magnesium. Sterate. Silicone dioxide, microcrystalline cellulose. Cellulose. You did all the easy ones, man. That's all. That's the fucking whole ingredients. What are you talking Look about? Look down on the list. Yeah, the little harder words. <laughs> <laughs> what do? You, that's literally the all the ingredients. Hold up. No, this. Uh, Once there's a space, that's not the ingredients. These right here. That's, that's not the fucking ingredients, dude. That's some nutris, nutritional facts. <laughs> uh, vitamins. Hold on. Vitamin C. Vitamin D3. Uh, mm. <laughs> They're hard, Cl- dude. Clarutuline. Nitro. <laughs> zig. No, that was probably Zine. Zigine. Mm, that sounded German. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not even try that one. Saratia. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a porn star. A Mena Q9 SK2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Hey, that's all for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we covered a lot today. Inside Out too. Yeah, yeah. Hitler. A little um, bit. We've touched on them. Stealing money for charity. Yes. Yeah. Brandon's Robin Hood. That's he what Robin, I learned that's what, today. that's what he's doing. He is robbing the hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's robbing the rich hood, though. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah. Robbing yeah. those motherfuckers. Yeah. Yes, and if uh, there's ever a court <laughs> case or something, these are jokes. Don't kill me, okay? Right, can Brandon needs a Rico case. <laughs> and the next day they wake up, Brandon, what the fuck is this? He's <laughs> laundering money. <laughs> the fuck it was not children pick up. You're fr- now you're acting like Freeway Rick Ross from Snowfall? You're stealing money? You're doing shit? You're selling shit that you ain't supposed to sell? Go to jail. And now I'm in there for the rest of my life. Just because I wanted to make people fucking happy. Yep, we'll bond you out. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll use all that money you stole from those sick kids. All right. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) Hell yeah.
reverse osmosis. 